if you're younger and kissing the same woman and you're the same sex and you're saying no homo, it's probably a good chance that you probably down the line are going to realize that you're gay. And I didn't realize that I was bisexual until I was about 20. I don't think sexuality in itself is a performance, is it? I think that I'm not a very gay acting person. Once we finish recording, I don't really give a f- do you know what queer baiting is? Uh, no. Controversial opinions. My controversial opinion is that uh, <laughs> get some nuts. Get some nuts. That's your uh, controversial opinion. It is my controversial opinion. Do you have another controversial opinion? You want I to give? have a controversial opinion. Right, that Nikocado Avocado is truly <laughs> a lovely, lovely man who I would definitely love to spend some time with. Would you? <laughs> no. Would you like cuddles with Nikocado Avocado? Yeah. I would love cuddles. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've been recording for far too long. I would just love to give him a big old hug and I say, Nick, Nicky old boy, <laughs> Nicky old pickle rick boy. I'd say, Nick, it's all right. It's all right. And if you're a pickle, it's perfectly fine, my friend. Would you and, give him a little smooch? If, 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 he want, if he was consenting to it, I would say, Nick. Ah! I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Controversial opinions. So that I was very out, controversial. I, it, it was controversial in the fact that Nick Akira Avocado is the real ears. A pickle dick. A pickle dick. This is the, this is all this is so bad. Oh god. I'm so sorry if you're watching this. Oh, please subscribe. And look, I'm gonna put this in the main podcast episode, but also this is just mainly for the clip. Um I understand if you're a little bit confused right now. As I referenced before, there is a full podcast which can probably explain to you why we are making these uh terrible jokes from 2017. Um, you know, there isn't really much of an explanation, but uh at least you have a little bit of context. So uh please subscribe and uh you know just uh, enjoy the show. We're actually going to get into these um, these terrible opinions now. Thanks. We put out a tweet saying controversial opinions and please follow our Twitter account at bodiespods on twitter.co.uk slash bodiespods. <laughs> That's not the right link. Yeah, it is. I just, fuck, I just read it. I just read it. I just read it. And your name is right in front of me because you replied to the... I look, I tweet out being like, controversial opinions, please reply. And the first thing I see is Aiden likes beer. And I'm like, but you're doing this with me. Yeah. And it was majority of superhero films are shit <laughs> and boring and everyone tries the hard to give them a deeper meaning, which is absolutely correct. Yeah, superhero that... films are awful, like realistically. And I, 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 wa I watch most of them, but God, they aren't good, are they? It's just fucking like what, what you see is like the new Spider-Man movie comes out and you go on Twitter and someone's put like, this is a really good take on apartheid. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> mate, it's just a man like, slinging some like, weird. They're just fucking boring. And I think the main thing with them is they pump loads and loads of money into it so it looks cool. But then the actual content is, is garbage. It's like, awful. so garbage. There is, it's so, so funny to me that Disney spend hundreds, and I mean hundreds of millions of pounds and the result. I, I haven't even got this up, but my God, you've got to think, right? This is one of the most expensive films of all time. This is one of the most it, it, it's for it's for four. I actually went to the premiere to this. I was kindly invited, uh, not by Disney, but somebody else gave me their plus one. But we can say Disney invited me to sound cool. They invite me to more. You won't answer this podcast. Two hundred fifty million dollars. <laughs> the results. <laughs> it's so. It's what so, the hell is that? It's it's just, it's it's the MCU, my friend. And look, I I like the content. I I consume it. But it is, it's getting worse for sure. It, like, at 2018, it was actually pretty good. I don't watch them. I recommend. So I, don't, I don't know if I can actually have that opinion My, if I don't watch them, but yeah. I just... No, no, no. I understand your opinion because you're bringing out the deeper meanings and deeper opinions. And honestly, in some of them, I can kind of get the deeper meanings. Like Black Panther, there is definitely some deeper undertones to that film. There's a lot, a lot of things about colonialism and stuff like that in that film. I can understand that. In films like Winter Soldier, there's uh, things about surveillance and stuff like that and how much power and control the government have over everybody. Completely understand the deep messages of that. But when it's a bloke turning into a fucking ant, uh, fighting off some other bloke who's also turned into an ant, I don't really think there's a deep underline of meaning. I just think it's not a good opportunity to uh, sort of teach the world <laughs> like how it is. My, you my, know? I, I, I do, I do love the fact that there are some, there are some little kid out there who's getting their political opinions from Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there's a fucking guy looking at Hulk going, 
this is deep, man. <laughs> <laughs> this really makes me want to be a bit of a communist. We truly live in a society. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, no, I, I actually agree with that opinion. Whilst I do like the MCU and there is some god-awful content coming out of it recently, uh, you've not watched any of this stuff, but She-Hulk is not very good. WandaVision was all right. I always didn't mind that. Loki was, I mean, it was, it was Loki. And then you have Falcon the Winter Soldier. Decent, other than the villain. Absolutely awful. The next thing is actually about Marvel movies. Is it? Um, Alvira, I, sorry if I mispronounced that, says, Marvel movies are the she sheen, sheen of the movie industry. That basically means they're cheap and tacky. Oh, Sheen is in like the clothing company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's just like basically run through like some factory. And honestly, Sheen is like put through like, you know, in a lot of these co clothing companies, you have this like seven-year-old kid who's on like, not even like, like 0.1p an hour and they're making all the clothes in a factory. Yeah. In, so in like they, a sweatshop, basically. Close to like five p and like yeah, it's basically with Marvel. Honestly, it's not that far off. They're basically playing their their animators and editors and CGI artists absolutely nothing. So. They're just churning out utter garbage, I think. Yeah, they. It, it's the fact that there's like seven thousand things that come out a year, which just oh, it's just bad. It's just bad because there's honestly there's only so many little green men that you can put on my screen where I start to think. <laughs> That's fucking stupid. <laughs> Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like when, I, yeah. when I turned on She-Hulk and She-Hulk was in a car of Hulk, suddenly a big fucking UFO appears. I was like, she's getting a bit stupid now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> like truly running out of yeah, ideas. Yeah, I was like, point, is, there's there? only so many little green men fighting that I can really stand, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe it's because I'm 25. It's, they've, they've gone like, oh fuck, what should we make a TV show about? We'll make Hulk's girlfriend a lawyer. Is it, it just cousin? Is it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I've heard his girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in America, maybe actually. But uh, no, that, I mean, to be fair, it is really funny seeing grown fifty-year-old men being like, "The yeah, MCU has gone woke," and it's like, mate, you're fifty years old. Get a fucking grip yeah, of your yeah. life, you sad bastard. Like, there's just there's some blokes on the internet who made like seven videos a day, and it's like they're like actually sat in their like basement with like piss on their floor and stuff instead of going to the toilet of where of, of where, I'm not even that's not even a joke like, you know that episode of South Park the world of fucking world Warcraft, of Warcraft. that, that fucking mate, guy on mate, the computer it is actually that these sad bastards make five six videos a day of where they actually get physically and visually upset because some bloke in the MCU actually had like a, a, a family member who was also yeah. green and it's like are you are you do, do, has, a, has a has a female Woman, not touched you in that long where this is making you physically angry. It's just like, there's bigger things to worry about in life. Than... Yeah, like their love life and sex life. Go fucking touch a woman or something. Go to a bar. Just have a fucking beer, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so just... Just, just, just go get a fucking life. And this is coming from a man that regularly makes videos on a bloke called Nick Ocado Avocado. And when, if somebody like that is saying to you, get a life, you should realize I have truly hit the yeah, dogs. We're doing these podcasts. We're saying things. By the end of the day, once we finish recording, I don't really give a fuck about a lot of it. <laughs> I, was like, I, did yes, I was like, look, you can't tell. I was saying, just don't tell everyone. Like on some things, we're not going to care, but it's going to be funny. We can take the piss. But reality is a lot of these things you don't actually give a shit about on this podcast. If I make a video, I do care in my main channel videos. But on this podcast, if I'm taking the piss, I probably don't care but about the whole thing. I'm not saying... I don't care, but I don't care. It's not like it's on your mind. To it's not like you go to bed thinking, yeah. oh, oh, Nick Ocado Avocado might be dead. <laughs> to the extent where it's, you know, causing me problems with my general anger and that, temperament. I'm not, I'm not like diarying myself into the thoughts of like, is Onision suing me? That, that's not in my mind yeah. constantly. Whereas right. these guys, they have created the phrase MCU, which is like, there is no such thing as like a, like a physical virginity pass. But if you've unironically ever said MCU, you should just fucking k You are a virgin. Like you are... <laughs> Yeah. Oh God, just just the worst. Them men need a fucking good pair it's, of boobs in their face, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> just a big load of boobies. And it's the fact that me and you saying something so fucking stupid like that are, are, are still above these guys. Give the guy some Bristols to play with. <laughs> <laughs> some Bristols, some Bristol glizzies. <laughs> some glizzy whiz. Ah, oh, the glizzies have come back. The glizzies are back. The, right. the, the Richmond so, sex. As we were saying about 10 minutes ago before we got sidetracked again. Controversial opinions. Controversial opinions. Moving um, away from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So I put out a form as well. I attacked yeah. this time it was a bit different. I was like, if you're a bit scared by these controversial opinions, just just, you know, submit into this form. It's anonymous. And we weren't we're not on them yet. But a lot of them are about gay people and the LGBTQ yeah. plus community. And we're a part of that community. Me and you. Uh, Two bisexual men, right? Yep. We move into the topic. 
of queer baiting. And I'm just going to read out communist Pikachu, not communist, communist, says communist uh, a very funny little pun you've got going on there, you sad little man. <laughs> it goes, queer baiting. Accusations against someone like Harry Styles are really dumb and unnecessary. And it implies that people need to be forced out of the closet and that's not something I'm comfortable doing. Do you know what queer baiting is? Uh, no. That comes from a man who is not chronically online, my friend. Uh, <laughs> allow me to explain to you the concept of queer baiting. Give so it to me straight, Doc. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Basically, queer baiting is this phrase that a lot of people have... Uh, not, it's, it's genuine in some places, very minute places, I say, but in a lot of places, it's, you know. Queer baiting is a phrase of where somebody says that a straight person acts acts gay, which is, right. at that point alone, is a little bit like, even yeah. then, the, the implication of there is a way to act gay is, yeah. you know, I don't know. I mean, I guess there's a way to act straight of, I don't know, being bald and loving football, but <laughs> loving the glizzies. But actually, no, that's pretty gay. Loving the eggs. <laughs> we haven't even explained that. But yeah. Uh, we don't the, need to. We're just going to leave that. We're just going to leave it. It's the implication that straight people, particularly straight famous people, act gay in order to basically culminate an LGBTQ plus audience for profit, pretty much. I think this agrees but in corporations, I think corporations queer bait. I think in a lot of movies, a lot of TV shows, a lot of shows will deliberately take a character, take Stranger Things, for example, there's Will Byers. And I think they've taken a character there and they've definitely like queer coded him, which is when you've put like a lot of gay tropes surrounding the character, yeah. but they've not directly labeled the character as gay because they are clearly afraid of upsetting a certain audience. He's getting no I will just mute this entire segment and you guys have had absolutely no idea what we just said. But yeah, basically... Right, he's not getting a boyfriend with that haircut. That's what I meant to say. That's what you that just... That bowl cut is getting him nowhere in the dating community. <laughs> that's, that's so mean. But basically... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but and basically, if you have got a bowl cut... You need to fucking change that, my fucking, friend. <laughs> Get that fucking, fucking sorted. Yeah, fucking... <laughs> so I, mate. <laughs> Stupid bastard. We're not taking any prisoners today. fucking ugly cunts. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, but no, basically they're saying that, that people queer bait in order to gain audiences to profit off them. This is an accusation that a lot of people have had being like Harry Styles does it because he puts an address bit gay. Uh, honestly, <laughs> I look, I think the whole thing is valid in the case of corporations definitely do it because they are afraid to have actual gay fictional characters in their fictional universe because they want to still have streaming rights in countries where yeah. LGBT stuff is not publicly allowed. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I do. I, I was saying if Harry Styles wants to wear a dress. Jesus, let, him, wear a dress. let him wear a dress without fucking, you know. I've always been like <laughs> turned away from the implication of acting gay because I, I think that I'm not a very gay acting person. I no. I mean, I I, I don't think if I'm a stere like a stereotype of being a bisexual man, but I am bisexual because uh, I made a video about it and that's the only way to identify as being gay is if you're an influencer. But we're bi and I don't think if anyone went up to us, it would be particularly easy to guess because I think the whole, the whole thing of like acting in a specific way comes under the whole I mean I know we've been speaking about stereotypes and playing into them but stereotypes are never necessarily the best of things and I think the yeah. problem is is that with things like queer baiting you're playing into those stereotypes but also at the same time how the fuck do you know that somebody's queer baiting? Like, imagine going up to somebody being like, you're queer baiting, and then two years later, they come out as gay. Because theoretically, sorry to interject, yeah. but theoretically, you have just forced them into probably coming out down the line. I don't think sexuality in itself is a performance, is it? And, exactly. Um, hey, mate, it's not like I'm getting on fucking stage being like, look at me, I love cock. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Harry Styles isn't walking around going, oh, I'm so gay. But he's just not doing that, is he? He's just like dressing sort of not in the way that in a, in a societal, in a societal masculine norm. And even if he looked like a twat wearing him, he could do what he wants. <laughs> yeah, this is the thing, right? I And honestly, this is going to sound a bit controversial, but even if anybody is technically queer baiting, honestly, I don't actually care because this is my, I don't know if this is controversial, but I actually think you're kind of like normalizing it in a way. Mate, if a celebrity is acting a bit gayer than their mates, but like they're not actually gay, like I haven't got a fucking problem with that because one, they're probably just having a, a laugh with their mates. To be honest with you, like as like when I was younger, like everyone, like, you know, the whole like, no, uh, sorry, jokes aside, but like 
don't um, no home. What was it like you kiss somebody who's like no homo? But it's like, yeah, it mate, if you kiss, like there's a good portion if you're younger and kissing the someone of you the same sex and you're saying no homo, it's probably a good chance that you probably down the line are going to realize that you're gay. And I didn't realize that I was bisexual until I was about 20. But then you look back on things and there are moments in your life when you're like, well, yeah, there are some things there. And it's like, imagine like going up to somebody who is giving off like, again, more stereotypical traits that somebody is necessarily gay, bisexual, lesbian. And you're then like, oh, um, that person is is queer baiting. It's like no, they might actually just be on a journey and progression of coming out. It's like I'm, so, I don't, I don't mean to get overly serious. No, but exactly. Like, but like, you could even be, you know, very straight and still dress like that and still act the way you do. Yeah, because then again, you're then just playing into societal standards yourself by being like. Only gay people can do this. Only yeah, no, exactly, yeah. You should be able to express yourself how you want by how you dress and sort of how you sort of present yourself without having to attach sexuality to that. You, you know the content creator Dream? Part of him. He's a bloke that gets called out for it a lot. A lot of him and his friends do, being like, you're queerbaiting, you're queerbaiting, because they make jokes about it, like each other, like, you know, like little, little, little gay jokes here and there, but it's like, who cares, man? Like, who? for how do you know that this person is not gay or bisexual or, or yeah. pansexual? Like, it, it's like, who gives a shit? Also, oh, the only person's business of sexuality is their own. Who has the right to speak about someone's own definition definition of sexuality other than themselves? Nobody, man. Like fucking nobody. Yeah. Like if somebody wants to be something and they're not harming anybody, like who who cares? Like there's like like aunts, there's like questions we've gotten in this controversial opinions bit about like um neo pronouns and stuff like that. And it's like, why do people, I, I've never, maybe younger when you're a bit more reactionary because you're coming into more like political things. Maybe you will be more like reaction to it. But there's a guy who's like 25 now, you're tw almost 25. Like I look at these things now, I don't know about you. It's like, why do people care about how, what somebody choose to identify as like sexuality, gender wise in, in general? Like why do people care about that stuff when it doesn't affect you? It doesn't harm anybody. It's just making somebody feel more themselves and more comfortable who they are in their body. I just don't, get why that's an issue of anyone ever and we rarely ever get serious on this podcast no, but it's I, always I been think, a bit of a weird thing i think it's a point that needs to be made that people should be able to sort of as i said earlier sort of express themselves how they want yeah without being judged about whether they're trying to appeal to an audience yeah no i i, I agree bring up the neo pronouns thing it's like some someone goes neo pronouns are stupid and unnecessary and then they also go on saying also, less confident on this one, but personally don't think that our word is a slur, but not a nice word. Shouldn't call people that, but not a slur. I, I've never understood like the whole like idea of slur discourse. You probably never even heard of that because you're also not chronically online. It's just people debating whether you can say a word or not. And it's like, boy, boys, just just go outside. I keep seeing online and it really annoys me. 40 year old men and above joking that they identify as an Apache attack helicopter. Oh, mate. And I cannot think of a more irritating joke. <laughs> it is like so overused and it's just like why do you care? <laughs> it's just like there, there's nothing like it was like, mate, just, just fucking focus on repaying your mortgage. Like, <laughs> like, don't worry about it, all right? Work on getting your fucking wife back because <laughs> she's not fucking happy. She's, she's not coming back, man. She's literally with like some 21 year old who probably does have neo pro. <laughs> yeah, it's it, like just relax, man. You're just coming across as a dickhead. No one has ever made a joke like that, and I have gone. I like this guy. <laughs> and no, the, this is the thing I never get. It's like, oh, 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 fucking pronouns, pronouns. But it's like, everyone thinks you're a dickhead by that like, one guy with like a fucking English flag in their Twitter, Avi. Like, it just doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, and this like, is the thing. I don't understand why so many people care. It does not affect you in any way. Just yeah. relax. Get your wife back. She's fucking miserable, mate. Go just go watch Harry Potter with her or something. I don't know. The other controversial opinions, honestly, more of it is just some gays is like, you can be gay and still hate the LGBT community. It's like, mate, they have a hatred. Like an I think hate is probably an overused right. word. They go, not because they're LGBT, because the community is constantly at each other's throats. I mean, just ignore it. I think if you if you are seeing communities at each other's right. throats, you probably need to take in the opinion you're probably on social media the, too much. The thing is, the like LGBT community is just that just means anyone who isn't straight right, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. That's a lot of people. That There's going to be a lot of, of bad people in, in that group. But there is also going to be a lot of, you know, very nice people. I'm a big lover of glizzies, but honestly, in the glizzy the, industry, you're probably going to get some not so glistacular it's, it's people. Just like, it's like, <laughs> well, yeah, you're going to get the glistastic people. You're going to get the fucking... Go on. Go on. Gliz <laughs> <laughs> you fucking sick bastard. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I know what you're saying. Uh, we're going to add the controversial opinions here by saying, controversial opinion, you should subscribe to this podcast. <laughs> Thank mm-hmm. you.